Hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. So in this video, we're going to talk about one-man tents. Now, I've been to a previous video I made, I think about 12 months ago. I saw a lot of people asking about pros and cons about them. So I thought I'm going to make the video about it, but I'm not going to go down all the pros and cons side of stuff. What I'm going to be talking about is when and why to use a one-man tent. So this is my OEX Fox 1 V2 one-man tent. The room inside this is just probably around about big enough for myself, air mat, sleeping bag, and maybe a small rucksack at the bottom of the tent, and that's round about it. These tents are known as coffin tents. Other one-man tents may vary in different space inside the tent, so you'd have to check that out for yourself. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one-man tent up, and I'm going to show you, because one-man tents are the easiest ones to put up. Basically, it's not a lot, really, is there? All you do is you get your inner, you get your fly sheet, you get your poles, so it's very quick and easy to put up. So let's do that first. Now I will say straight away, I'm no expert at tents. I do a lot of camping, I've used one man tents, I've used two man, three man, I've used hammocks, hot tents, bivy bags. So I do know a little bit about what I'm going to be telling you, what they're good for, what time of year they're good for. And I basically built my knowledge up from experience in using outdoor camping equipment. But I do say I'm no expert. Now most one-man tents are in a pitch first. So first thing you're gonna to have to worry about is the weather conditions. Using a tarp when it's raining gives you that extra coverage. Plus you can do more just slightly outside your tent than you would better do if you don't use a tarp. Right, so we've got the inner of the tent set up now. This is all right if you'd like to use it on a nice warm summer's night. You've got ventilation here so there's no condensation build up overnight. It makes a tent to carry it a little bit lighter because you don't have the fly sheet. But myself, I always like to put the fly sheet on just in case there's a little bit of unexpected overnight rainfall. But if you're not too bothered about that and you can guarantee it ain't going to rain, this is perfect and it's extremely low profile as well. You know, there's one good thing about one-man tents is if you're into your stealth camping, you can tell this is a nice darkish green colour. Doing a little bit of stealth camping in the summer months, this is a really good tent for that. But there's other colour tents out there and other brands on the market. This is one I like to use for stealth camping or the summer camping. I just want to be out of the way and not be seen. Small one-man tents especially at low profile ones. They're really good for putting on your push bike if you're doing a bit of cycling through the day and looking for somewhere to sleep at night time. Small tents are really good for that as well. Or back of your motorbike. Myself in the summer, I will be taking this little tent on some uh, canal camps. So I will be cycling across the canal using this tent as well. Now I know what someone's already probably thinking by now. When it's summertime, I'd just use a bivy bag and a tarp. I know someone's going to put that and that's their own way of doing things. But there is people out there who are not interested in using bivy bags. They'd really like to use a tent to be out of the way from all the bugs, spiders, slugs and things like that. So already we've gone over a couple of points using a one-man tent. It's good if you're doing a bit of cycling camping on your motorbike. If you're doing a little bit of stealth camping summertime camping so my thoughts about when you wouldn't use a one-man tent like this winter time these tents are absolutely a no-go honestly like i said earlier if it's raining you're gonna have to put a tarp over you because you do not get a lot of room in the tent plus in your little doorway there is it a festival or something like they call them i always get that uh, wrong 
I do suggest if you use air mats like this, do get yourself one of them battery pumps. I've got one, I just always forget about it. Now, if you're gonna buy a one-man tent, what I suggest you do is borrow one off a friend, go to an outdoor camping shop, just get in it and give it a try. If they think you're gonna spend money, they're gonna allow you to get inside that tent. Ask can you put an air mat up? Ask can you put a sleeping bag up in it? You know, just for the room to see what you've got. One-man tents are very claustrophobic, so you best try before you buy. Now, this one I've used, yeah, it's my OEX one. I've used the OEX sleeping mat, OEX bag. It don't matter what brand you use, as long as you're happy with your little tent. End it there, just always remember, you can be very claustrophobic in one. They're not really good for winter camping. If you want a little bit more coverage, you're gonna have to use an, uh, a tarp. Where can you use them? If you're gonna be camping, using a push bike, a motorbike, bit of stealth camping, camping where you don't want anyone to see you, tucked up in there to a bush. Low profile one man tents are normally good for that. Now, if you can add anything else to this sort of video, your tips why you'd use a one man tent or why you wouldn't use a one man tent please do comment below and let me know i'll be interested in reading other people's reviews if it's the first time you see my channel and you want to see more videos from me you can hit this here by subscribing to my channel i'll put another video of this tent up here i think i use it stealth camping i'll put that up there so you can see but for now thanks for watching i hope this video helped